Just made your pain, baby. Now I'm talking about. <laughs> All right, let me get serious. It's Cooper. I come through and show them how to do it. Woo! Welcome back, everybody, to my ongoing series, Let's Plat. I am joining you again, as well as Mr. Kitty. So cute and adorable. Um, today, I want to steer things into a different direction. I've been talking a lot about video games, and I kind of want to go into another direction. I want to talk about something that um, I'm also very like geeky and nerdy about, and that, that is comic books. So I want to I want to try this little side project. I'm gonna I think I'm gonna call it uh, Subscription Box, and it's basically going to be me talking about a comic book that I'm subscribed to and that I think that you should also be subscribed to because of how good it is. So today for you I have this uh, new comic. It's pretty new. It's only got two issues. It's called The United States of Murder, Inc. And it's created by Brian Michael Bendis and Michael Avon Omi. These names may sound familiar to you. Um, if you've watched a few of my videos, I've mentioned them. They are actually doing the Power Series on uh, Sony's uh, streaming network. And he talked about it on, at the E3 press conference a little bit. And uh, definitely, um, Brian Michael Bendis and Michael Avon Fleming are two of my favorite pair. They're, they're my favorite pair, uh, my favorite duo comic book artists writing right now, uh, artists in writing right now. So everything that I pretty much pick up of his, I enjoy right off the bat. And so he's only two issues in for this. I usually wait about four or six issues before I determine if the book is worthy of me reading or keeping keeping up with. And this right here, two issues in, I'm pretty sure that I'm I'm sticking with this one. This is this is a really good series. And very interesting, and and this is why I believe so. Um, basically, the background of the story is, it's based on an alternate history, and the uh, mafia and the crime crime families have taken over the United States uh, rather than the government. So basically, the government has lost control uh, during the Prohibition days, and uh, the crime families and the mafia have taken advantage of that, and they now control most of the United States. Uh, they share it with the government. The government has very, very little uh, amount of real estate for the United States. And so the main story is following this uh, male character right here. And his name is Valentin. And he was basically raised uh, in a crime family, like a literal crime family. His mom and his father uh, were both in the mafia. His father pa passed away or died. I'm not sure how. And um, his mother is, I'm assuming, still in the, the uh, mafia. It's kind of hard to tell right now at this point of the story. But he just becomes of age, and he's been trying to get into the uh, crime family. And in this issue here, he is inducted into the uh, crime family, and he is um, sent on a mission and uh, for a, a job to deliver a package to a government official in Washington, D.C. And he is accompanied by this female character right here. And her name is, uh, we'll just call her Rose. Her first name is kind of, it could be pronounced multiple ways. So we'll call her Rose. And she is a hit woman for the mafia or the crime families. And um, he is also accompanied by his best friend, his lifelong uh, friend who is also in the Mafia, and they go to Washington, D.C. to deliver this package, and everything goes wrong, and it's to the point to where he thinks that the Mafia has set him up, and um, it becomes very bad, and then on his way home, or once he gets home, he finds out that his mom has been lying to him for a very, very long time, basically his whole life. And um, it, going into the second book, he is kind of deciding on if he wants to. He, he, he has that um, between, he has to choose between his mother, who has been lying to him his whole life, or he has to choose between the crime family, who may have set him up for, for um, a mark 
in the, in the in the ongoing series or in the future uh, uh, issues. So um, this is definitely something that I would recommend picking up. I've been very interested in reading this, um, just the the hist alternate history, and plus we haven't really had m very many uh, mafia uh, type lore uh, comic books, and this is definitely a nice little refresher, a nice little um, refreshing scene, uh, a new scene to to be reading and looking at, and. Also, if you haven't read any, of any other uh, Michael Bendis or Brian Michael Bendis or Michael Avon Oming stuff, I highly recommend it. Um, uh, Brian has done a lot of crime crime novels, which is mostly where he's gotten his start from. And Avon kind of helped him along in that. And Avon's been kind of with Brian for quite a while, quite quite a while, and um, those two together are very very strong. Uh, just his art complements Brian's writing and uh, life or um, setting style and stuff like that. So definitely would recommend picking up this or any other um, Brian Ma Michael Bendis, Michael Avon Oming titles as well. So that's what I have for 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 today's subscription box. Uh, let me know what you guys enjoy reading. Let me know uh, the title, why, and. Um, I just might pick it up and enjoy reading it and stick with it as well. Um, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, uh, share with your friends, and you can also follow me on Twitter, MajorPain2587, and you can invite me to uh, your PSN friends list at MajorPain2587 as well. I enjoyed having you, my adorable Mr. Kitty has enjoyed having you, and uh, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Take care. An intruder has been detected within our walls. Please remain calm. 
True citizens, this trade may be more than it seems. True citizens of the underground, the threat is among us. But I have been informed this threat is not the spawn of the evil one. So, you are the one causing the disturbance? Hmm. The enemy of the enemy is my friend. How can I help you, friend? The deranged prisoner told me you know of technology. A key. The temple key? Yes. A key to the tower. To enter that, you'll need a key to a key. You'll need to access the Gravitron. Time is short. Where can I find this key? Nothing is free. Not even for you, Strider. You eliminate the beast that brings us terror, and the key is yours. I shall destroy the beast. 